Hi everyone, this is just a small charm update for my June Etsy restock. I split it up into two videos, so this one is just the charms, and I have one for all the figurines coming soon. I filmed a lot of the pieces, but not all, as I did this as a last minute thing just before packing up the orders. So anyway, let's just get started. So the first pieces are these leaf-eared fairies, and I made this one with golden yellow eyes, gradient green hair, and a moss bunny hair accessory. I made this one in the same style as a figurine that I had made as well. This one has the palest vanilla hair with red peonies and gradient clay ears and wings. And this little one went to my amazing friend Janice or Miss Park Park and she gave it such a lovely spotlight on her Instagram page as well as the little moth that she got for Ashley or Ash Mills on Instagram. This one has roses and a white lace painted outfit if you can call it that. Up next are the dragons, and this first one is a lotus dragon, and I made it with lotus flowers and lily pads on its hair, and also gave the wings a sort of leaf-like shape. This next one has peachy toned roses, and also the same sort of peachy wings, and pastel pink hair. This next one is in turquoise and peachy tones again with poppies and seafoam green colored hair. This one is one of the first ones that I've made in a more warm tone. So this one has yellow poppies and apricot to light yellow colored hair gradient. This one is a lotus pegasus and it has the same sort of lotuses and lily pads as the dragon. And on the wings I drew clouds with gold paint. And this little water lily pegasus was given a new home by my dear friend Michelle. She's really supportive of a lot of artists in the handmade creations community. This one is a winged unicorn and she has poppies in her hair and she's carrying a tiny lantern. And her hair is a sort of shimmery dark purpley gray. And this little pretty went to two little crafters who are the sweetest humans on Instagram. So kind and their creations are so beautiful. And now onto the moths. A lot of the moths that I made were sort of peach toned, going from a sort of maroon color to a peach gradient. So the eyes are actually made out of black glass and I ordered them off of eBay and they came in 2mm, 3mm, 4mm and so on size. And I think I ordered all three of those and tried them out for different pieces. These are either the 2mm or 3mm size, I'm not entirely sure which one. And in this update I sort of got carried away with a golden green palette as well for some of my pieces, so I had to make a moth in those same colours. And now we have a couple of sloths. So this first one is a little pink sloth with a heart on its belly. And the colour of pink is a sort of dark pink with even darker pink around the eyes and on the wings. And this little one is a turquoise sloth. Again, it has little wings on the back and a heart on the belly. And next I have a couple of little creatures that were meant to be otters, but when I went to color them, I couldn't help but make them different colors. And as a result, they didn't look like otters anymore, so they sort of gave me baby puppy or Scottish fold kitten vibes, but also mixed with like a prairie dog or something. Anyway, so I made this one in a pastel yellow with peachy wings. And then this one was just a slightly darker pastel yellow, once again with the orangey toned wings. And then this one was done in a very pale green with little leaves painted on in white and the wings going down into a gradient of pale pink. And then this one was finally one that I painted like a proper otter pup. And I gave it little gradient brown to maroon wings. I think out of all of the pieces, this one was the hardest one to let go. And then finally, I have this little sea slug. And this one I made in sort of reddish pinky tones. And this little sea bunny went to Laura from When Laura Meets Clay, one of the first people who ever supported my store and now her talent is off the charts. So that's all for this little mini update, and I will be making another video for the figurines, so stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!